Hello everyone, welcome back to the Fennel and Fiber podcast. My name is Misa and I am your host. And it's been a long time since we have done a podcast. It has been a super long time. I have not done a podcast since May. So I am super excited to be chatting with all of you. But before we get into the crafting and the excitement, we need to talk about some things. So first of all, where can you find me? You can find me on Instagram at Fennel and Fiber. You can find me here on YouTube anytime you please. You can now find me over on Twitch at Fennel and Fiber. We have been doing crafting streams over there minimum twice a week. It's been a ton of fun and I have been having a blast with it. You can also find myself and a bunch of other really exciting crafters in our Discord. That's right. We have a Discord and I am so excited. It's a really great place to be. A lot of really amazing people, a lot of really awesome crafters and just a fantastic community. So um, if you want the invite link for the Discord, check the link in the bio. Where else can you find us? You cannot find us on Ravelry. I'm going to be closing the uh, thread for Fennel and Fiber. I'm I've completely frozen myself out of Ravelry, and I may touch on that a little bit here in this podcast, but for now, if the whole Ravelry issue is something that bothers you, and you don't want to hear about it, or you disagree with the issues, feel free to um, click the exit button of this video. Uh, You can definitely go ahead and hit the unsubscribe button if you like, and it will not hurt my feelings if you give this video a thumbs down, because the issues that are going on with Ravelry are valid are unacceptable and a nuisance because they shouldn't be issues at all. But like I said, we might talk about that in a little while. So those are all the places you can find us. And we need to talk about the craft along that I have started over on Instagram and on the Discord as well. So we are doing the RIP 2020 craft along that has been going on for a few weeks now, maybe about a month. Um, It goes until the end of the year. So what is the craft along? It's really simple. You craft whatever you like. It can be painting, it can be knitting, crochet, sewing, quilting, cross stitch, embroidery, whatever, woodworking, literally anything. If it's a craft to you and you love it and you find passion in it, it's a craft. Uh, we're going till the end of the year, uh, um, because this year has been a fucking whirlwind. It's been exhausting. It's been stressful. Um, so I just kind of wanted to have something that, I don't know. I just wanted to have something to bring us together as crafters where we could go and just, just be ourselves, have fun, um, do the things we love to do, see what other people are doing to get themselves through the rest of the year. Uh, so yeah, we've got a couple of people who have already donated prizes. I've got some prizes in the um, giveaway myself. I think we're going to be drawing a winner soon here for the first round of um, the craft along. We've already got a lot of really amazing, amazing entries into the craft along. So if you do hashtag RIP2020 CAL on Instagram, whether it's a work in progress or um, a, an entry, which is a finished project, uh, I'd love to see it. I'm checking those just about weekly, and I'm posting a, um, I'm posting on my stories at least once a week everybody's uh, entries or whips, and it's been really fun to just see what everybody's been working on. Um, so that's the craft along, and uh, yeah, it's been it's been a lot of fun. I haven't really been able to do a whole lot myself, um, but I've really, really just recently gotten like super back into crafting. Um, which brings us to the podcast. I've really missed you all. I've had a ton of fun exploring Twitch and keeping up with Instagram. We are a little over 900 followers on Instagram, which seems like such a silly thing to like be focused on numbers. I'm not so much focused on numbers as I am the amazing community that has been growing. Um, and I don't get to do what I love to do, which is be able to do podcasts, uh, now doing Twitch streams and uh, have the Etsy shop open. Um, without the support of all of you. So I say it all the time, but I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so much for showing up here on Instagram, on Twitch, on um, on the Discord, like anywhere that we are able to connect. It is, it's one of my favorite things and it makes me truly happy. So um, yeah, I've, I've really been wanting to film a podcast. Um, 
and so I finally went back and I watched my last podcast episode, which was in May. I cannot believe I left you guys hanging that long. That is just unacceptable. It's rude. Um, and I, I looked at all the things that I was working on. Uh, and if you guys have been following over on Instagram for a while, you may remember I actually knit myself into a little wrist injury. Um, so that put me out of knitting for quite a while. And then I just had a really hard time getting back into it. Like I just... I wasn't feeling super motivated. All the projects that I was I was doing were kind of just like, eh, I'm not really feeling it. Um, so I took a break. And I taught myself to cross stitch. <laughs> um, I have had so much fun learning cross stitch. It has been the coolest, the coolest craft that I could have possibly learned. So I've been having a ton of fun with cross stitch, but a couple of weeks ago, I was missing my knitting needles. Uh, I finished up a cross stitch project and I was like, eh, what should I work on next? And I was like, I think I'm gonna go ahead and knit. So I picked up an old whip. Um, I finished it within a week and then I was like, well, what am I supposed to do now? So I kind of thought to refocus myself and chat with you. We'd do a podcast, maybe something would, um, inspire me along the way and I could figure out what I'm going to do craft wise um, and just have fun with it. So all of that to say, um, that was a super long intro, but again, we haven't talked since May. Okay. It's August. It's like the second week of August. I mean, I have a lot to say. You all know I'm a talker. So obviously get comfortable, get a drink, get your, get your crafts, get com get, I said, get comfortable already. Let's just enjoy the crafting, okay? Let's just, you and me, just have a good time. Just, I'm hyped. I'm a little excited to be talking to you all. It's been so long. But we are going to get into the uh, normal format of the podcast. For those of you who might be new, um, I am a longtime knitter. I've been knitting for 10 years now. Um, and like I said, I just learned to recently cross stitch. Um, we've been on this podcast for almost, I want to say like nine months. Um, I think I started this knitting podcast in October. So we're slowly creeping up to one year of the podcast, which completely blows my mind. Um, but we talk about knitting. Uh, we'll talk about works in progress. We'll talk about some finished objects. Um, and then we'll just kind of talk about some life things. Um, a shop update might be at the end, um, and and it's just it's just a way to kind of hang out. So let's get into the whips. Actually, let's start with finished objects. Let's start with cross stitch. That's like a really rare format for us. So I will share with you my very first cross stitch ever, which I had a ton of fun working on, and it is oof that exposure. It is. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put this like in front of my face. This really beautiful sun. I had a ton of fun working on this, seriously. It was a very quick thing. Um, it took me a couple of tries to figure out what I was doing with it, um, but this is a ton of fun. I, I absolutely loved it. Um, I have yet to frame these. Um, I know that's like a whole project in itself and I have three of them to frame and one of them to ship out. Um, so, I mean, this was a free pattern. I. I usually tend to link everything in, in the description of the podcast, so um, I will see if I can find this pattern again. Um, like I said, this was a free pattern. I'd say it's pretty easy for a beginner. I mean, I did have a couple of hiccups, but cross stitch is basically pixel art, so once you figure it out, it's not that difficult at all, and it's a ton of fun. So um, this is my very first cross stitch. I'm definitely going to keep this one because who doesn't keep their first project? me. I do not have my first knitting project anymore. We are going to work, move into our second finished object for cross stitch. And I love it. I love it. The, the Ida got super dirty. I'm pretty sure I accidentally spilled coffee on it. So I am going to fold it up a little bit here. It's Spider-Man. Oh, I love it. Oh, this was a lot of fun. Uh, we finished this by we, I mean, I did this, I did majority of this on stream, um, on Twitch, and uh, I had a lot of fun. It's cute. Uh, this is a paid for pattern that I got on Etsy. Um, I know that typically I would say the pattern name and designer. I don't remember who the designer was, but check the uh, link in the bio, link in the description. I do this all the time. I never know what I'm going to call it. Show notes, description box, 
whatever. You know what I'm talking about. Um, it's just so cute. I did mess up this foot a little bit, um, but it's so small you can barely even tell. And again, this is another one that needs to get framed. The cloth is kind of dirty. Um, they've just been sitting on a bookshelf since I finished them because I don't have any frames to put them in. So I, I just have been a little confused as to what to do with them now that I am, um, now that I'm done with them. And the final cross stitch finished object that I have to show. I feel like I'm breezing through these, but there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to cross stitch, I feel like. Well, maybe there is. I'm just not super used to that yet. Um, is this really, oh, that is so overexposed. Yikes. There you go. So it's it's pink on top, but when I flip it up like this, it literally just disappears. <laughs> anyway, it says dream big. I'm just gonna hold it like this so you can see, because that is a, uh, not working out. Look at that. It's just going away. <laughs> uh, I made this for my brother who just recently had his first baby and um, I'm super super excited to get this sent out to him. Um, this was a fun one. I had a lot of fun kind of stitching a word into a picture um, in the multiple colors. Uh, I just found this one to be really like fun and abstract um, and I had a really good time with it. So uh, yeah, I've done three cross stitches. Um, in probably about two and a half months. The start, the star, the sun didn't take me that long, um, but that's just because I was so eager to finish it. Um, and once I got the hang of it, I really couldn't put it down. So um, that's all I have for uh, cross stitching finished objects. I mean, still kind of a lot, but knitting finished objects. I almost said whips, but I'm so excited. I had to, like I said, I had to go back to my last podcast episode and see what the heck my whips and my finished objects were. Um, so I didn't show anything twice. Um, and I have a couple finished objects that I can't show today, but I'll show in the next episode for sure. So the first one I'm going to share, this is a really big deal for me because this is like my first like real deal garment is, this is backwards, is my Rift tee. Look at it. It's so cute. Also, I keep looking over here because of my film setup. So sorry, I'm going to have to readjust this, but for today, just work with me. Um, I'm so excited. You guys all remember when you were like, look, it looks like candy corn. I don't actually think it does. Do you? Maybe. The fit is a little weird, but you know what? For this being my first garment, I'm okay with it. Um, it's a, I tried to knit it longer, um, than I typically would. Um, 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 I do this shit all the time. <laughs> and it's still a little cropped, so again, I think I'm gonna wear this over dresses um, until I can get a little more comfortable wearing crop tops with pants, because that's usually not um, a fashion style for me. The sleeves, mm, they're a little wonky, but I think for my first garment, it turned out really well. Uh, this is the Rift Tee by Jacqueline C. Slack. Um, I'm not sure. I, I would imagine that her patterns are probably on a separate website from Ravelry at the moment. Um, if you don't see it linked in the bottom, <laughs> if you don't see the Rift Tee um, linked in the show notes, that means that it's on Ravelry and I'm doing my best not to link anything to Ravelry. And again, we might talk about that. We might not. I'm, I'm still kind of undecided. So uh, the yarn is all Quince & Co. I don't remember what any of it is, and this is sport weight yarn. So I really enjoyed knitting with it. It feels very uh, kind of coarse, I would say. It's not like super soft yarn, but when I tried it on, it was super comfy. So it's a rift tee. Yay! I definitely plan to make another one, and probably in a solid color. The only reason I did multiple colors is because I didn't have enough of one color to to make it one color, but I had enough of each of these to uh, to use it. Also, if you hear sneezing, that's just my dog. No worries. Our second knitting finished object. Oh, it's so cute. So it's going to look really small because of the knit stitch that it's done in. Um, right before I had my, uh, wrist injury from overuse, I had signed up to do a test knit. Jessie May has been slowly working on getting some of her patterns to, uh, child size. And 
I was thrilled about that. I love Jessie Mae's patterns. I've done uh, one test knit for her before I did test knit the uh, Ripple Butt Shorts. And so when I got the email to uh, sign up for the little crop top test knit, I could not resist. I mean, just look at how cute it is. Oh, we're gonna have to figure out that exposure. It is adorable. So it looks really small. There's a little mix up in this sleeve over here. Like you can kind of, see, oh, I gotta stop putting it so close. You can kind of see it. You can kind of see that there's a little hole in the sleeve. It is what it is. Again, I'm still fairly new to garment knitting, so it's not a huge deal that it's not completely perfect. I would say otherwise it looks really good, but it stretches really like it. It's a three by three rib, so obviously it's got a lot of stretch to it. The only thing is, is when I started knitting this, um, my kids were a little bit smaller, <laughs> which uh, just kind of blew my mind to see how much they'd grown since I'd put this down. So I think I'm going to make them each a couple more with more length. Uh, this is meant to be cropped, and it is slightly cropped <laughs> for both of my kids, and I don't mind that, but I typically don't prefer to have cropped clothing for the kids. Uh, so I did add length to it. I knit everything else exactly as the pattern said, and the pattern said knit to length. You know, I think when you're knitting kids patterns, you get that um, freedom to kind of do that uh, because everybody has certain preferences when it comes to how their kids dress. So I was very excited to finish it. The kids both love it. I'm definitely planning on knitting at least one more for each of them. Uh, it was a very quick knit. Uh, other than just putting it down and taking a break from knitting, it was quick. It took me Overall, the knit time on this was probably a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So, I mean, it's all, it's three by three ribbing. ribbing. It's bottom up, very simple. I highly recommend it. And I will, of course, have this linked in the show notes. Well, that's it for finished objects because I had a couple other finished objects I wanted to share, but I don't have them with me at the moment. So they're gonna have to wait until the next episode, which means it's time for whips. I don't know why I'm singing or being weird like this. Let's just go with it, okay? Let's just go with it. All right, let's get into it. See, I can't stop, can't stop. All right, I haven't touched this, I'm pretty sure, in in months. So uh, I'm working on a little sock. It's so close to being done too. I should really figure out where the, <laughs> where the heck I am in this pattern. Um, I am working. We have to figure out this exposure. Sorry that this lighting is not good. Uh, this is a little baby sock. Well, it's a little toddler sock, I should say. It's almost done. I have to figure out where exactly I am in the pattern, and then I have to knit the second sock. But this is for Ophelia. Pink is her favorite color, of course. Um, and uh, this is also part of my 30 before 30 challenge. So if you're following me over on Instagram, I am doing 30 socks before I turn 30 years old. 30 pairs of socks before I turn 30 years old. I'm 25, I'll be 26 in October. So uh, we've got a lot of time left to go. I mean, I do plan to knit a lot more socks. I'm actually planning on casting on a pair of socks tonight. Um, and I am going to be doing Socktober, which I'm really excited about. But my sock game. <laughs> <laughs> has been lacking. So uh, I, I think the last time I showed this to you, it was pretty much just the cuff. So as far as last podcast to now, we've made some really good progress. But as far as like reality, I haven't touched this in a very long time. But you know what? What is time anymore? Seriously. I mean, come on. Does anybody keep track of what the hell time is these days? Because I do not. So um, this is, um, I think it's Yorkshire. It, it's Yorkshire something. Very common type of yarn that you can get at your local yarn shop um, or online. And again, they're always linked. Everything's linked that I mention. Um, and these are on magic loop so i do have to thank annika of uh tea fueled living um also co-host over at knitting my shit together was so 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 sweet and they sent over two pairs of um 
circular needles, fixed circular needles. So I could go ahead and try magic loop with socks because I typically am a double pointed, a double pointed needle sock knitter. Wow, that's a that's a mouthful. <laughs> Um, but I, I usually just go for DPNs. That's usually my preference for sock knitting. But I do, I did really enjoy the uh, magic loop. So this might be something we see a little bit more of. Um, and then maybe, maybe at some point I will uh, brave two at a time. I don't know. We'll see how adventurous we get. And this little guy is just hanging out in our tufted woolens bag. Uh, I really need to update, uh, do an order because I need some more of that hand balm, and I could use some. Um, socks up so that's the socks i've been craving picking this up lately like a lot i've been wanting to work on this do you remember the murder blanket that i started i have honestly i have no idea where it was last i spoke to you all um and i know that I, this is what i was working on a ton when i uh started streaming on twitch so we've so we've made some progress um this is the I'm completely blanking on the name of this blanket right now. But it's it's a very pop habitation throw. This is the habitation throw. Uh, it's very popular to uh, do this blanket pattern with advent minis. I'm pretty sure that's what it was designed for. But I am using all yarns inspired by my very favorite true crime podcast, My Favorite Murder, and it looks amazing. I am in love with it and I've really been wanting to pick this back up again. Um, again, I this is why I wanted to do a podcast because I haven't touched any of this in so long and now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, gosh, this is so cute. Why on earth have I not been working on this? So um, I think we're actually going to get ready for a color switch it looks as far as length goes. And uh, yeah, I, again, I haven't touched any of these whips in at least two months. At least. But we're getting closer to uh, to three months, if I can be completely honest. Also, we have a hell of a yarn mess here. So I will have to uh, remember that next time I touch this. So I'm going to have to untangle some yarn before I start knitting. <laughs> okay. There's not a whole lot to say about that one. It's a super simple knit. Um, and you can pretty much, it's all knit with fingering weight yarn is what the pattern calls for, but it's a very, very easy pattern to kind of do what you will. Um, you can change your yarn weight and your needle size as long as you get gauge. You can use as many colors or as few colors as you want, and it's a gorgeous pattern. So I definitely need to pick this up and work on it a bit more. Okay, last knitting whip. This is a... This is a knit that I've been working on um, during Twitch streams. Uh, for anybody who's not familiar with what Twitch is, I've been saying it a lot, like everybody knows what it is. Twitch is commonly known uh, as a platform for gamers to stream, um, but there's actually an amazing, wonderful makers and crafting community on Twitch. I was completely shocked. The whole reason that I even got on Twitch was because I was considering doing a live cast of the podcast and um, I found someone doing cross stitch and I have literally not been able to get off Twitch since. I have so much fun streaming every week. Uh, I have so much fun watching all of the gamers and makers that I've connected with in the past few months. Um, it's a really great place to be. So if you are unfamiliar with Twitch, I highly suggest you uh, Maybe check it out. Um, I do post on my Instagram stories when I'm going live, and I like to host a lot of makers and crafters when I'm offline. So it's a really great space to be. Uh, and um, I think that there's a lot of potential for a lot more makers to be knitting or sewing or stitching. Whatever your fancy is, I definitely think um, there is room at the table for you. So uh, back to what the heck I've been working on. I have been working on the Libra shawl and I'm gonna be completely honest, the name of the designer is, is I'm blanking on it. <laughs> but as always, I don't have to keep saying it, it's all gonna be linked in the description box. Um, I'm working on this with um, the knitting needles that are hanging out over here, they're Knitter's Pride interchangeables. They're amazing. I'm going to be doing a video in the next couple of weeks kind of dis discussing just how much I love these needles um, and a few other goodies I got from Knitter's Pride because 
they're so good. Um, the yarn is a fingering weight yarn. I can't remember who it's from. I want to say it's from Valkyrie Fiber, but I could be completely wrong. I don't know why I'm singing so much today. Uh, the texture on this pattern is really great. I would love to get closer, but apparently when I get too close to the camera, exposure galore. <laughs> um, I'm about halfway through this. This is what I've been working on majority of the time when I'm knitting, so uh, I've made quite a lot of progress on this. I think I started this like on July 4th, and it is August 11th, so um, for how much knitting I've been doing, I'd say that's not too bad. But I would like to finish this by the end of the month, and uh, we shall see. We shall see if that works out for us. So that is all for knitting whips. Now we have a couple of cross-stitch whips, not many. Um, I did a charity stream on Twitch last month, uh, and um, I am going to put up a quick trigger warning um, for uh, rape, sexual assault, uh, rape survivors. There's a couple of different ways you can phrase that. I prefer to just use the term rape because that's exactly what it is. So uh, if you are easily triggered by that or it's just something that you are not comfortable listening to, I'll put a timestamp to let you know where you can um, skip to if that's not something you want to listen to. We did a charity stream at the beginning of last month and we were raising uh, funds to uh, donate towards ending the backlog and I was completely overwhelmed by um, how the community showed up. We raised over a thousand dollars on Twitch and I donated 50% of the sales from my Etsy shop um, when I reopened and I think we did about, I think it was like maybe $50 from Etsy and I just, I was so blown away. I absolutely cried <laughs> during the Twitch stream and it was just an amazing thing that um, that community kind of pulled together and did. Uh, and all while we were um, streaming, um, we were going to be doing a giveaway for the stitch that I was working on that day. Uh, and it's going to say, no means no. Oh, wow. This exposure is terrible. But so far, we just have the no. <laughs> Um, I need to be working on this a little bit more because I have someone that we pulled for a winner, um, but it'll say no means no, and it's got a little floral on the bottom, and uh, this this is just a really, really special stitch to me because we did such an amazing thing while I was working on this, and um, I, I just, I was so happy to do something so wonderful. Uh, and it wasn't just me. It was everybody in the amazing, amazing community over on Twitch and everybody who supported over on Etsy. So thank you if you're from Twitch, if you're from Instagram, wherever you're from, if you were a part of any of that. My heart was so full. It's still full. Um, and just thank you. Thank you very much. But uh, yeah, that's this whip. <laughs> A little bit more information than I thought I was going to share, but um, I'm not going to cry. We're not going to cry. Okay, and the last whip is going to be a little awkward to show, but we're going to do our best. I got a little bit extra in life and decided to get a scroll frame, and it showed up earlier this week. So my, my cross-stitch whip is attached to it. We are working on this gorgeous landscape pattern. Um, this is what I'm currently working on um, on Twitch streams, uh, but I've worked on it offline as well because it's a pretty big and intimidating stitch. There's a lot of blues. Um, I'll post a photo of it on the uh, screen here in a moment and uh, the pattern as well. The pattern's been on sale for a long time. I'm not actually sure if it's still on sale, but I believe I snagged this pattern off Etsy for like two dollars. So uh, if you're a cross stitcher, I highly recommend. And this, um, I'm gonna try my best to show the gorge. I'm gonna try my best to show the gorgeous detail of this frame because my goodness, is it beautiful? Oh my goodness, I was so excited to get it. I felt like I really spoiled myself um, by purchasing this, but I have zero regrets. I've had so much fun working on this thing. Um, and I've learned how to stitch with two hands, which has been a lot of fun and really interesting. So 
that's all I have. That's all I have for crafts. Um, like I said, I am planning on starting a pair of socks, I think tonight. Um, I'm going to do it with this fun yarn. I think I'm going to make shorty socks though. Um, because I just, I prefer shorty socks. I really, really do. I, I love the long socks and I, I feel like there may be some long socks in my future, but I just really like shorty socks and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but I'm very, very, very excited and, um, I'm really hoping to add some more podcasts. I'm hoping to go back to, I think I was doing twice a month. Um, but let's talk about some life things biggest thing we need to talk about. I graduated college! Yay! <laughs> I am, ugh, it feels so good to be done. It feels so, so good to not have to do homework anymore, to not have to go to night classes, and ugh, I am so happy. I'm so happy to be done. It feels amazing. Um, just finished up last month, and I just, I feel really good about it. Um, luckily I already go to school online, so not a whole lot of things were mixed up with, um, everything going on with the pandemic, but, um, it feels so good to be done. So I have been doing job interviews, trying to figure out what we do now and, uh, just enjoying my life postgraduate. So that's been a really huge thing for me. And, um, I just, that was a big thing that we had to share. Um, We've also reopened the Etsy shop, so I did take a break while I was finishing up school because I was really focused on finishing strong, um, and uh, the Etsy shop is now open. Uh, today is uh, August 11th, I think. Today is August 12th, so um, we are going to be doing a sale, I think, in the next few weeks which I'm really looking forward to. And, um, yeah, the Etsy shop's doing all right. Uh, it's been a little quiet, but that's not a huge thing for me. I love being able to send out orders as they come through, and I'm not, you know, I'm very fortunate that it's not, I don't, like, rely on that income. Um, of course, with anything that you do when things like that happen, uh, what? Of course, what? <laughs> Of course, with things like having a shop, you would like to be able to depend on that um, income, but the shop is nowhere near that. Uh, so for me, it's just a fun thing I do in my spare time at the moment. Um, and I appreciate everybody who shops and supports the shop in any way, even if it's favoriting the Etsy shop, sharing the Etsy shop, or uh, purchasing from the Etsy shop. I'm always 6,000% grateful for any sort of support. Um, I really don't have a lot to share as far as life things. And you know what? I do want to talk about Ravelry, but, um, I'm just not in the, in the right headspace to talk about that. I'm really excited to be just here talking crafts with you all. So I think I might make a separate video, um, discussing that because I think it's a very important thing to be talking about, honestly. And, uh, I do have thoughts and opinions. I have been asked about my thoughts and opinions over on Instagram. Um, I haven't necessarily been quiet, but I've, I've had a really hard time trying to figure out what I want to say about it, um, in a, in a cohesive way, in a way that's not like overly aggressive or, um, just mean. I, I really want to think out what I want to say and I don't want to be rambling to the point where like I'm contradicting myself or things just don't make sense. I just, I have thoughts. I just don't know how to get them out just yet. So, um, yeah, but life's been okay. Life's been fine. We've been getting by. Obviously there's a global pandemic going on. So we've been trying to uh, figure our way out through that, but, um, we're making it. I'm feeling really good about crafting and just like getting back into things. And I really appreciate you all coming to hang out today and I hope we got a lot of crafting done. Uh, but I, I think we're going to wrap it up here. So I really, 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 really appreciate you all coming and supporting the podcast as it makes its return. Uh, I am hoping to be back regularly, um, especially now that I have more time. That's been a huge thing for me is now that I'm done with school, I took a couple weeks to just like enjoy not putting any pressure on myself to do this or do that or have a shop update, have the podcast up, do streams on Twitch. Um... But now I'm feeling a little bit more motivated to kind of take this more seriously, take it to the next level um, as far as consistent schedules and um, just just having fun with the podcast, right? So, uh, yeah, 
I appreciate you all. I love you all so much. Stay safe, stay empowered, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.